Hey guys, my name is Tiria and welcome to my channel. Okay, so as you can see in today's video, my background is a little bit different because now I'm in my room and I really apologize because you will hear a lot of things in this video. It's either from my fan or like any motorcycles outside because I'm living in a very busy apartment area so I really apologize for that I really hope that it doesn't bother you so yeah <laughs> so in today's video I'm gonna share my thoughts about Zara perfumes that I have and had in my collection so yeah if you guys like want to know what I think about those perfumes please make sure you keep on watching Okay, so the first perfume is going to be Wonder Rose. So I don't have this perfume in my collection anymore, but I still can remember what it smells like and the projection. So this is a sweet fruity floral perfume. You will get red berries in the opening and then the middle notes is com some kind of floral and then it has vanilla base. So when the first spray, you will get a blast of red berries and some kind of maybe a little bit of citrus but i don't think there's a citrus note in the opening but it's not like too citrusy it's sweet berries but it has like a little bit of tanginess and then in the middle you kind of get like that floral note it has it definitely has rose in the middle and then it has a beautiful vanilla dry down so it's basically a very sweet perfume but it's not like a very sticky sweet it's just like airy sweet light and fresh okay it's a fruity sweet scent it is not a heavy perfume and what makes me declutter it because uh, you guys know how I feel about roses I don't like roses when I smell roses like in any perfumes it will give me like a massive headache and that perfume Wonder Rose is basically give me a headache because it has rose and I should know before I purchasing it because you know the name is Wonder Rose so it's basically have roses but when I watch some review videos on YouTube about this perfume they said it smells nothing like rose they don't find any rose scent in this perfume but when I bought it and I smell it I was like damn why are you guys lying to me it definitely has rose and I can definitely smell it and at that time I really got a massive headache like I was trying to like it but I could not like I literally couldn't like it and at all. the longevity for this perfume is only like two to three hours you guys need to respray because it doesn't really last and the projection is very weak I must say unless you like spraying it a lot like literally over spray the perfume on you then it will project better but still it doesn't really last but I don't know but maybe it depends on your body chemistry all right so we're moving on to the next perfume we have Femme and honestly I also don't have this perfume in my collection anymore because I sold this perfume to someone on carousel 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 I don't know how to pronounce it but yeah and that's why I don't have it in my collection anymore but you guys don't worry because I still remember what it smells like and the projections so what this perfume actually smells like it is smells like a soft and sweet vanilla and then it has that a little bit of patchouli and then it has that a lot of muskiness so it's basically when you spray you get a blast of a vanilla and patchouli in the beginning and then it has a very powdery dry down so uh, it's like basically it smells like a soft and sweet it has a little bit of woodiness and then it's powdery you know and that's why I'm not a fan of this perfume because it's it has a very powdery dry down to the point that it smells like baby powder but if it sounds like right up your alley if you like powdery scent like baby powder scent definitely get this one but if you don't like any powderiness please I don't recommend this perfume for you <laughs> so yeah and the longevity for this perfume is quite moderate i think i got for like four to five hours and that's actually pretty good for zara perfume because uh this one is also edt same like 
Wonder Rose, but this one, um, it lasts longer than Wonder Rose because I think it's because it has patchouli and it has like that vanilla, that sweetness. You know, sweet perfume tends to last longer and also patchouli can help uh, a perfume to last longer. And yeah, this perfume smells quite expensive, not like Wonder Rose. Femme is like a very, you know, it's very mature, but it's not like old lady mature, okay? It's like, it's an office appropriate perfume, okay? So if you are working in an office like 9 to 5 or 8 to 5, this is the perfume that I recommend for you, okay? And this definitely smells mature and smells expensive, so yeah get femme <laughs> and the projection for this one i think it projects way better than wonder rose because it is sweet perfume basically sweet perfume like they will project better and it lasts longer okay so it's i think it's worth it to get femme because uh it's you know it's affordable it's not cheap it's affordable i think if you buy from personal shopper they will charge you for like uh, 100 ringgit and more but um it was worth it because you will get like 180 ml bottle like it's so huge and i know that um this perfume it also lasts you for like four to five hours so it's going to be like worth it okay so the next perfume i have is nude bouquet this is in a nude collection and i love this perfume you guys this perfume smells so good this definitely smells very pretty and very feminine so it's basically smells like oh wow you guys so this perfume is a very floral perfume it's a very fresh floral perfume it doesn't have any sweetness just floral just freshness and you guys okay i'm so obsessed with this one and that's why i keep spraying it <sighs> you will get a little bit of citrus in the opening but it's not like too citrusy it's just a little bit and i think there's some watery scent there's some watery notes i don't know where where it's from but i think it's from like something like lotus not sure this one has like some kind of pink flowers i think it's peony i don't know it is is it peony or orchid i don't know but it's some kind of like pink flowers and for the base i think there's a little bit of sweetness but it's not like not too sweet but overall this is just a fresh floral scent okay this is just reminds me a lot of a fresh bouquet of flowers like the flowers are just freshly picked and then you got you got that flowers okay a bouquet of it and it smells very fresh floral scent and you guys okay i told you guys about this one earlier that this perfume is a dupe for miss dior Pumin bouquet by christian dior I've talked about this in my previous video. I think it was in my um, K-pop perfume videos. I will link it down in my description box. Or you guys can just click it here and check this video out. And yeah. Oh my gosh. This smells so pretty. It smells so feminine. This is what actually pretty gold smells like. It's very fresh floral scent. And I really love this one. And this one is in EDP. Uh, the previous perfume that i you know that i told you guys are edt but this one is edp so this one is definitely last longer than the previous perfume and like i say this one is a dupe for dior women bouquet but i think dior the dior one is more like you know it's lighter and a little bit more fresher but this one has like um a little bit of depth to it I know like this one is a fresh and light scent but I think this one is just better than the Dior one <laughs> okay and to be honest this one projects more this one lasts longer than the Dior one so I don't think that it's worth it to purchase 
uh, that Miss Dior Booming Bouquet perfume. I think I highly recommend you to get this one instead because this one is like much cheaper than that, like that Dior perfume, and you will get like the right amount of everything in here, <laughs> okay? And it smells very similar to uh, Dior Booming Bouquet, so it's definitely worth more than you purchase the Dior perfume so yeah I really love this one and it's actually the scent that people will would wear in a spring and summer like of course in Malaysia we don't have spring summer and everything but I think this is just like an all year round scent this is just very very nice for Malaysian weather so definitely check nude bouquet by Zara. all right so we have the last perfume it is also in the same collection in the nude collection but this one is feels at nightfall definitely like the same packaging as the nude bouquet but it has like slightly different cap um so yeah so what feels at nightfall smells like so this is so the notes in this perfume is very simple i think it has that the top notes, I think it has that one flower. I don't remember what its name, but uh, the middle it has jasmine, and then the base note it has sandalwood. And this perfume is very, you know, the scent is very pretty. This smells so good, you guys. Like jasmine, it's my favorite fragrance notes ever, and I really love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, so. This is basically smells a uh, very sweet creamy floral. It's not like very sweet. It's actually like it only has like a little bit of sweetness, just a hint of sweetness probably from the jasmine and it's very creamy from the sandalwood and it's just everything to me. And this is not a dry sandalwood that you might find in a man fragrances. This is like a nice creamy sandalwood and I'm a fan of it okay so what makes me bought this perfume is actually people told me that this perfume is a dupe for Zadik and Voltaire this is her and I really want to buy that perfume but sadly that perfume is not available not available in Malaysia but I found that perfume in Fragrance X but uh, I never purchased anything from Fragrance X so I kind of like scared so like when I found that this perfume is the dupe for that perfume I was like oh my god I need to get this one when I get this one I was like oh my god yes this is definitely right up my alley I love jasmine I love sandalwood like it's just like everything to me it's not too sweet this is just a soft perfume but it's kind of have that sensual aspect to it because you know jasmine is kind of sexy you know and sandalwood is sexier so if you are looking for a sexy fragrance but it's just a soft sexy fragrance definitely get fits and feels at night for oh my gosh <laughs> this is a very sensual fragrance but without even trying you know this is a very effortless sensual scent and the longevity for this perfume is i think i got like six to seven hours i don't remember but i think yeah it's moderate like it's not like super long lasting but it's very moderate this is fields at nightfall by zara so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this video today thank you so much for staying with me in this video till the end I know that I know like there's a lot of distraction in this video and I really 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 apologize for that but thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video please click thumbs up and if you guys want to see more video like this from me please click subscribe please consider to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye